So if your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury at birth, like HIE, why a birth trauma or a birth injury attorney like myself, why? I know for some people this may be self-explanatory, it may be something, well, Marcus, of course, that's who you would call. You would call a birth trauma or a birth injury attorney, someone that does that. Well, believe it or not, a lot of times, people, a lot of people do not have experience with dealing with lawyers. They don't deal with lawyers a lot. And so when things like this tend to come up, they honestly don't know where to go. They don't know how to find the best attorney for what they may have going on. And so for today, what I wanna help you understand, if you are that type of person, you've never dealt with lawyers before, you have no idea about any of, the, of this stuff, who to talk to, what to look for, this video is for you. Although I'm talking about birth injury and birth trauma, this information can hold true about any type of issue that you may have going on and you need a lawyer. So a lot of people, when they are looking to, to get help, legal help, a lot of times in my experience, what I found is that people get the names of lawyers from referrals, either family members or friends or co-workers. That's how they find lawyers. That's how a lot of people in this country find lawyers. And so what you can have is a situation in which a person has gotten into a car collision and they've got issues going on either with insurance or how to get a rental car or property damage or bodily injury. They got all of this going on and they may have a co-worker at their job who has just gotten through their divorce and the lawyer that they used for their divorce was like a one like got it done went to the mat got them a really good result and that person may say hey you know i see you 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 got this going on you told me you got this going on why don't you call my lawyer such and such i'm sure you know they helped me they did a really good job they may be able to help you too and so this individual that is in the car wreck they may look for help from that divorce attorney. Now, that divorce attorney may have some experience handling car wrecks and handling car collision cases, but there's a chance that that attorney does not have that type of experience handling that type of those type of cases. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that the attorney that you are looking to hire has experience or can guide you through what you have going on. A lot of the catalyst for this video today is because of an email that I had to send this morning to a person who had reached out to my office for a medical malpractice issue they had going on. And, and basically in that email, it was, well, how do I go about finding the best attorney to help me. And it's not just this email. I've had individuals that have contacted me and they have been towards the end of their of their case. They, they're, you know, looking to deal with the settlement issue and money changing hands. And, and they're reaching out to me because the lawyer that they have, they're either not getting questions answered or they're not sure or they don't trust that the lawyer knows either what they're doing or has their best uh, interest at heart. And so what I want to help you understand in this video is that in today's world, we have come a long ways. You're watching me right now on either your phone or your laptop or your iPad. It's a lot easier to in today's world to find out information on lawyers. And what I strongly suggest you do is whatever issue you may be having going on, do your homework. The law firm or the lawyer put their name into social, into a Google uh, uh, search or a Yahoo search and see what information that comes up. Like I said, you're watching me right now on a video. This video is on TikTok, it's on YouTube, it's on my website, it's, it's on Facebook. All of these platforms have give you an ability to click on either my name or my law firm's name and you can see the types of videos or the types of information that I am putting out. You need to go through that information and look and see 
Is the information that's on this lawyer's page or what they're talking about, is that information helpful to me? Does that information tie into what I have going on? Now, there's some lawyers and there's some law firms, they may have a lot of information on their website. And you and, and so when it's that type of situation, you wanna make sure that you have a good understanding as to the bulk of what they do or the person that's talking to you in the video, do they handle the issues that you have going on? All of this type of all of these types of things are extremely, extremely important, and it helps the public be able to make good decisions as to what's going on with their cases. Now, in a lot of our instances, when people do contact me, they've either saw a video or they saw something online and they're like, hey, Mr. Boston, I'm calling you because the stuff that you're talking about in your videos, this is what my doctors or this is what my baby's doctors, I heard them say these things or I heard them talk about these things. And so for me, I'm a birth trauma or birth injury attorney. I'm not a real estate attorney. I'm not a car wreck attorney. I'm not a commercial real estate attorney. I, you know, I don't do any of those things. And so for me, I can't really give a lot of good, helpful information in those areas because that's not what I concentrate on. That's not what I focus on. That's not what I keep up on. I keep up on the law that I deal with. So for example, if a, a family contacts me and their baby has a compressed umbilical cord and that compressed umbilical cord has led to a, a, a reduction in blood and oxygen, I'm going to know certain things to look for. I'm going to know because this is what I do. I'm going to understand what readings are going to show up on the fetal heart monitor. And I've got videos and information talking specifically about things like this, going into depth on these types of subjects to help individuals understand. And you have to do this for whatever you may have going on. It's not enough just to have general videos talking about some of this stuff, but whether this information goes deep into the issues that you may have going on in regards to your case or your situation. I know I talked about a lot in this video and uh, you know this is extremely important and this is important to me because I feel really bad when people do contact me and I cannot help them. Um, and I know a lot of times this is because they may be dealing with the fact that they did not pick the best attorney for what they had going on. And so this video is to help you if you are in a legal predicament, you've got some stuff going on, and this is to help you understand how to get the best attorney for what you may have going on. And it all, it all boils down to you doing your homework and knowing what questions to ask and what information to review. If you have more questions, maybe you're here today because your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury. More than likely, that's why you're watching this video. And either the doctor has said some stuff, or you found, you know, uh, some videos of mine, and and you you have questions. If you've got that going on, this is what I invite you to do. There is a telephone number on the screen. I invite you to go ahead and pick up the phone and call me. I talk with families like yours all the time about these issues. HIE, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, cerebral palsy, MAS, shoulder dystocia, you know, infection issues for mothers uh, during pregnancy, labor, and delivery. This is what we do. Remember, it costs absolutely nothing to contact me. And just make sure when you when you contact my office that you pick a date and a time. That is important. A date and a time. So I'll know and or, or, or uh, my co-counsel Renee. So we'll know what to, what day and what time to to reach back out to you one more thing before i get out of here i practice law here in the state of maryland and i know that because this video is on all these platforms i can't control who's going to watch it and who's going to call me if you do reach out to me and you are not in the state of maryland you've got to understand that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel in other words, an attorney in your state, and that's something that we can help work with you on or give you information on, but I just want to make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things if you're not in Maryland. 
All right, that's going to be it for today's quick educational. I know I said quick educational video. Um, again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I am one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. We'll talk with you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.